consist of nothing because I don't even have any band-aids so we're gonna just bring us a drink along and I know what the problem is with this fabulous new knife is it's so sharp and this plus wet slippery mangoes means an injury I have like nine cuts on my hand very beautiful so we're gonna bring something along I'm gonna bring a mango and spinach smoothie that's gonna take me a long time to make <laughs> I mean 30 seconds and we're gonna bring this along in just a little to-go container and um, what did I want to talk to you about always you know if you're gonna go somewhere be prepared if you feel like you can't go somewhere and not consume something while you're out I mean I could you know I have food here. I could stop at Earth Fair on my way to the park and I could, I might stop there anyway because I want to um, look at some books and I want to show y'all some things, but why not just bring your own food? Why not just, just bring some bananas? These aren't quite ready, but why not just bring a couple of mangoes, bring a smoothie, um, make sure you're going to be hydrated, have everything you need. You know, people are like, well, how do I pack those things? You know, I, I have a couple of um, just cheap lunch boxes, and I have just some things like this that I can stick in there, you know, just cheap. I don't know even where that came from. I have like a variety, and I just stick them down in the lunch box, and it keeps it cold. I mean, it doesn't have to be. For example, if I'm making banana ice cream and it's not all the way frozen when I go to eat it, okay, have a banana smoothie, you know? So, we're going to come along and um, just have, have a day out. You don't have to be complicated about it. Be simple. Bring along what you need and live your life, you know, and quit saying, I don't have time. I don't have time to think about that. I don't have time to get my stuff together. I don't have time. Everybody has the same amount of time, and when you free yourself of that, the time limitations we put on ourselves, that's um, man-made. You know, that's man-made stress. But I want to show you this right quick, too. Now, this was my Fresh Life Sprouter that I showed y'all yesterday. And um, here's what they look like. Look, this is just after not even 24 hours. Do you see that? Their little, little seed jackets are coming off. As you see, they're all growing. I don't know if you can see that or not. But down in the bottom, we have the water. Do you see that? It looks just like slimy mess, but actually, it's full of healthy bacteria and enzyme action. And if you're brave enough, you can drink that. It has quite a potent swamp-like smell, but it will recolonize your guts with healthy bacteria, which is a great thing boost your immune system and whatnot. So, um, you can already see a few of the, the roots even growing down in there. So, my point is this. Simplicity, yet again. I was over at Barnes & Noble earlier, and, you know, I was going to show y'all some books and all this, but, but here's what I found. When you start looking at, at raw food books, and there's a lot of um, ingredients, you aren't quite so sure what it is, and you aren't sure... Um, I don't know. If it's not just fresh, whole, ripe fruits and vegetables raw, I have to start to wonder. And it's not even in good combinations, and it's not, um, it's looking more like cooked food and, and meat than looking like raw food. Then I just kind of venture away from that. And you don't find a lot of real pure cookbooks out there and uncooked books because, frankly, there's not that much to it. You know, it's, it's simplistic. You know, three, Three ingredients max in your salad dressings, and you've probably got a winner, you know. If you've got fresh, whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables that were, are really good, you don't need much, you know. So anyway, we're going to be traveling this along, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hello, here we are at Falls Park in Greenville. Y'all will want to see this place. 
it's really nice. There's some restaurants out here. And there's this, uh, what do you call that place down there where they do the open plays? It's like a... Amphitheater. Yeah, a little amphitheater and they have this, it's a Cable Hill Bridge. See, see down there? They've had to put a curfew out here at night time for the teenagers. <laughs> we don't come out late at night. It's not that safe. Look at this. Y'all have to see this. Do not drop the phone, Tanny. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's funny how so many people that live around here don't come out here and enjoy this sort of thing. They just stay inside. They don't have time to do it, you know? I don't have time. I think people need to take time to breathe and just think about what they want to do with their stuff and how to be different. Oh, you feel this thing moving, Christopher? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Uh. <laughs> Look, it looks like it's just a road. It's this massive bridge, but you can feel it swaying in the wind. And then it's kind of sad, a bunch of people have got injured or died coming out here at night and slipping on those falls. Isn't this pretty? All kind of restaurants right around through here, just hanging over the river. Want to go down there and sit on the rocks? I don't see why not. Let's take a suntan. Let's go down there. Let's I don't want a tan. Oh, that's I'm right. Too, I'm too pale for that. <laughs> he likes to look like a vampire. I'll burn in an instant. <laughs> that's why. Hello. Well, Christopher and I are just thinking about how how time can actually be on your side, or it can be your enemy. Like, are you in that mode where you're waiting until? Well, when I lose the weight, then I can be in the moment. You, you don't really say in the moment, but that's how you feel, you know? Or when I am rid of my disease, or when I, several times this week, I've woke up with, um, and I, I believe it's some inorganic produce I'm consuming, I've woke up with some body pains. It's almost like, it's like a fibromyalgia pain where under, it hurts to touch my skin. Almost like if you got an ant sting or bite and the, the surrounding areas hurt. Well, my skin's been kind of like that the last few days. So, you know, I had a choice. Get up and get on with myself and move through my day, move my body, pump my lymphatic system to get that crud out of my system. You know, um, drink more water, drink more lemon ginger warm water, some cram water, those kind of things that I know detox my system, or I could just crawl back in a hole, you know, and hurt, and I choose not to do that. But that just goes back to saying how when your body becomes so clean and when you consume the least little thing, you really know it, but I'm thankful for that because I'm thankful to know that the pesticides hurt me or whatever. I'm going to have to find a way to start buying more organic produce, but look, Look at the scenery we have right here. Christopher and I are in the middle. We're right on a rock. We climbed out here. And there's the sky bridge we were on a while ago. What sign says that? Right over there. Climbing or sliding on the rocks is 
strictly prohibited. Strictly prohibited? <laughs> Maybe that's why nobody else is out here. But this isn't slippery right now. We're totally safe. Though the rocks are slippery when wet, right? It was seriously worth taking your chances though, right? And so in a minute, we're going to go over to the Army-Navy store. We're, it's very scary in there, but Christopher likes to go. So a little bit of what I like to do and a, a little bit of what he likes to do makes a great combination, right? Yeah. <laughs> See y'all later.